That tour was really interesting, don't you think? Hello everybody, welcome to the Saturday morning stream. Once again, we are playing the intersection of Wild's 100 Doors by Domini Games. Say hello to a moderator, eh? Hello everyone in the chat. This wonderful stream is sponsored by members of the channel, including our VIP members. What the way? Softia42, Timothy Mayo, and Blaine Mayo. Our elite members Chisuni, Jersey Kid, and Chris Bowman. Also, we have our fan club members Mo Nemo, Lori Lean, Lucas Oliveira. I also want to say thank you to all the basic members of the channel. So thank you everybody for supporting all the videos and all the streams and all the games. Hello everyone. Welcome again to the Saturday morning stream. Are you guys ready to start? This is a brand new series by Domini Games. Hello. I would like to express my condolences. Your uncle, Rodriguez, has passed away. He left you his mansion in his will. And we are here. This is the house. It's a very big one, guys. Please, take this. Take this map. To learn more about your uncle, visit all the rooms. Use all the keys. Greetings, I'm Map, the Fairy Queen. You know, people think that all fairies are evil and dangerous. Why is there no sound, guys? Why is there no sound? And no voice acting here. No music. <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> is this a bug? Greetings, I am Map, the Fairy Queen. You know, people think that all fairies are evil and dangerous. But actually, we are all good and virtuous. Please come with me so I can prove it to you. Okay, we got music now. That whole opening has no sound. The forest fairies. What is this? What is happening here, guys? <laughs> we have a map. I can go to different locations by using this map. Oh my god, what is this? Tree and axe. Tree and axe? Uh, waterfall is right here, guys. There's a waterfall. A worm, a tentacle, and a horse. Is it a unicorn? Oh. Sun and flower. Sunflower. Tree and axe. This is like a picture book. We got a campfire, a compass, the weather vane, tires, and the wheel, buckets, that's a well, seashell, and a house, snail, honeycombs, chair, and a knot. A swing, balloon, and soap. A bubble. A bubble bag. Okay, so this is not your normal casual adventure game, guys. Yikes. Thank you for your trust. I've never met a human before who believed me, so now I'd like to ask you a favor. I don't think this is a bug, guys. All these lines have no sound. It is intentional. This is a budget casual adventure game. Matthew Jones, the head of the nearby village, made some fairies really angry. He is also hidden a magic scroll which we need to find. Ouch. I regret getting this game now, guys. 
<laughs> no. I'm not liking this. Okay, so we have like uh, the hidden puzzles at the top, three different levels, and the puzzle. There is a puzzle. So this location has three different parts. And I can get the number of stars depending on my speed and on my accuracy, I suppose, when I do the puzzles. Okay, second one. Sawmill, woodpile. There's a word solving there, you just, I'll magnify us. I'm looking for the word. A wood pile. Can I use the wooden plane? I did not say the game is boring in here. Helmets. Just that this is not really my style of a casual game. Cup of coffee. The coffee machine. A blade. The saw blade. Not the saw blade. Yeah, it is another saw blade. Canister. Not the extinguisher. The gas canister. A house. Made of matches. A plant. Headphones. Hexaw, Hexaw Blade. Number five. Is it on the clock? Number five. Number five. Number five. Is on the measuring tape. Number five. The big red number five. All right, do I get three stars this time? Three stars. Thank you once again, you have proven your loyalty to the fairy people. You see, our sacred tree is fading. Please help us save it, we need to perform a ritual and quick. So... This is a puzzle guys. Oh boy. Move the glowing spheres into the four center spaces. Select the arrows to move the spheres along the tracks. Right, we know what this is guys. So, hard difficulty has three different ops, three different color ops. Three different color ops. Ooh, so close. So very close. Okay, let me let me think about this, guys. Hold on. Oh, it's pretty easy. We got it. Oh wait, there's a blue one at the bottom too. Oh, no, there's a blue one at the bottom. <laughs> uh huh. I missed the blue one. That one is sneaky. All this time I was wondering why there's only three colors here. Ah, man. Hello, Adam. Welcome, Adam, back. You were in the whatever line stream. Welcome back. Uh, messing all this up. <laughs> I was doing so well with only the three colors. Oh no, I'm not going to get three stars this time. This is taking a while, guys. I want my three stars back. Okay, hold on. I'm messing all these up. Can I reset the puzzle? Let's re just reset the puzzle. Let's start over again, guys. I think it's quicker this way. Okay. Ah, we got the blue and the red. 
Green and yellow. Okay, we're getting close, guys. I uh, just need to put this back into place. Ouch. Okay, we got three colors. Getting three stars. <laughs> okay, so having the having designated colors in each of the four pieces is a lot more difficult than uh, using the common colors, guys. Okay, there. We got the blue and the yellow. Now we're gonna move this all the way to the right hand side. Now we focus on the green and the red. Green and the red. It's actually not that hard, guys. I'm just doing this wrong. Okay, there we go. Now we move the blue and the yellow one back into place. There we go. Okay. <laughs> My strategy was wrong in the beginning. I only got two stars. I wasted one star. Man. I could have gotten three stars if I was thinking straight right from the start <laughs> i cannot thank you enough you know your uncle Rodriguez often help us just as you did today he didn't show up for a long time i think the other worlds also need your help now well i must give you then continue your journey goodbye okay so the second room is now open guys second room also has three different puzzles yes we're starting with the first one it's okay Ilya. Don't worry about it. You didn't offend anyone, so it's alright. Okay, so... Isn't this the same puzzles again? The, the same items? Wait... I'm supposed to click on this one. Yeah, click on that one. Now we do the puzzle. I click on the wrong room. Now, Arcabia. What is Arcabia? <laughs> a beat? Valerian roots. What is Arcabia, guys? A special. Is that Arcabia? That's Arcabia! Yikes! No. Yeah, what the heck was that? Is that a fruit? An exotic fruit? <laughs> that looks weird. Uh, mushrooms. It looks like jelly inside plastic. Hot plastic. Find all the honeycombs on the, on the screen. You're getting the three stars back this time. Squash the honeycomb. Tansy. Camellia. Jasmine. 
So all the flowers this time, huh? I'm not familiar with my flowers. But oh there is a Lozwe here. So Tansy is that one, okay? Jasmine is the white flowers. And those are all the ingredients. Are we trying to make a salad? A fruit salad? Put some water here. <laughs> I don't even know what this is. A special soap? Soup? A good bowl of soup. Or oh, we are just making soap, guys. A bowl of soap. I think we do use flowers in soap. Soup or soap? What do you think? A caviar is chocolate wine? Oh, really? Okay, next one. Okay, thank you so much. I felt so bad. I am Margeria. I'm in a big hurry to get to town at the moment. The swarm witch has been taking the lives of the young girls. Normally, I would travel on my news on my moose, but he hurt his leg. I need to make an ointment too. I know you just sent me. I know you just met me, but I could really use your help if you have time. Okay, second puzzle. Kill the reindeer according to the instruction. Uh, so these are the items that we need to find. Step number one, step number two, and step number three. So the middle line is number is the first step, guys. Chili pepper and cinnamon sticks. Grind it all up. Whoa, he's all frozen. Second step, the bottom row. Cotton, alcohol, tweezers, bandage. Now, the first step, can opener. And we are done! One thing you want to know of every YouTuber Why they do it all... Why they do it all at the time? What, what do you mean, Adam? Thank you, your uncle Rodriguez used to help me a lot too I also need to repair a tapestry that was damaged by the witch's magic It's very important to me because it was embroidered by my mother now, this is a puzzle. Oh, this one is easy, guys. We're getting three stars, for sure. So, the patches. The missing patches are composed of different parts. Each one. We are getting the three stars. Yay! You're just like Warrigue. To prove the witch's guilt, I knew one thing that can only be found with magic. I know for sure that you'll be able to help me with this. So we're heading to the new room, guys. What? The same puzzle again? No. <laughs> oh, we're not done with the room. It continues on. This one has more than three puzzles. One has five. Place the witch's items on the circles with numbers. The book with the clue is in the right upper corner. Okay, first of all, the light of a red candle, it always comes first. Red candle? It's number one. Where is number one? One. 
7 is a lucky number. In this place, there should be a symbol of luck. The symbol of luck is... Let's see, let's, the clover leaf is number 7, lucky 7. When carrying out the ritual, you need to imagine who it is aimed at. And therefore, in the very center, you need to place a tarot card of our victim. This one, number 2. On both sides of the symbol of luck, the symbols of death, the grave, ground, and the rune of death must be placed. The grave, ground, and the rune of death. The grave, ground, and the rune of death. What are these items here? The grave, ground, the soil. The rune of death, not the skull. Of death is that the death rune, the rune symbol, guys. I don't know, I'm not sure. We'll come back to that one. The triangular by pyramid should stand in the third place, just between the grave ground and the elderberry twig. So, triangle pyramid number three. Number three, in between the grave ground and the elderberry twig. Elderberry, guys, elderberry. This one? That's a blackberry. Elderberry twig. This one? Which one is elderberry? Elderberry. Anything else we can pick up? Elderberry, that one. That's elderberry. Where the rune of death is, the sun always rises nearby. So, the sun, right beside the rune of death. Huh? Oh, number six! <laughs> Aha! There are two nearby spots. The month never meets the sun. There should always be a powerful barrier between them, like a personal witch's pendant. The pendant is going to be this one, guys. It's like a whistle. Right? Snake goes here. The snake poison. And right besides the witch's pendant is the month. A month. What other item can we pick up? We can pick up this one. I don't know what that is about. And, and what else? There's a number 5 here. The moon. There's a moon. Elderberry juice saved from the poison of a snake. Keep these items close. Elderberry juice. And the snake poison. I also have a moon pendant here, guys. The month never meets the sun. Are we talking about the moon? Maybe it is the moon. Elderberry juice is one of these guys. And then the last one is going to be... What? We have one more item here. The final item is... The poison of the snake. There's a live snake here. Where is the poison? Poison of the snake. What? This one? Why is it the safety pin? Okay, doesn't matter. Three stars! I need to stop the witch as soon as I can, but to do that, I first need to get something out of the chest and I can open this lock. Well, we open it for you. We do the puzzle. 
Arrange the pins as shown in the diagram, select a pin to rotate it. Easy. Open this one. It's like this. The corner. This is also open. It's nothing that nice. And we are done. Resize. I can take things from here, but I still have a little time to talk to you about your uncle. Rodrigue was an extremely supportive person and always willing to help me. His mansion made it possible to travel to the past and the future, and he even said he would soon discover a new Rome that does who know what who knows what. The Rome was very important to him.